IKEA just came out with their 2021 catalog. This is not sponsored. I am just an enthusiast. I went through the catalog and I was thinking this would be way more fun to leaf through with a friend. So here we are. I'm gonna be hanging out down here on your screen and we're basically just gonna flip through. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites, some of the things that are new in and just some really cool things that they made their products that you would think would be for one thing into another sort of use. Also, you're gonna see the thread of sustainability and trying to reuse things. I'm a firm believer that if you treat your furniture right, it'll last a long time even if it's from Ikea. So let's dive right in. I have added this screen recording. Obviously you have the front frame there and then we just dive into the first scene. Ikea always tries to set up these scenes for us, but I'm going to push through this beginning part because it's just basically the beginning of the catalog. So the first section is called swim, surf, sleep, repeat. So it's a lot of things that are really, really simple. Like this wardrobe I think is so cool that you can zip it up, say that has your wet attire in it. And then moving over, they have just kind of these really clean, simple things that I guess you could just use in your everyday routine. It gets a little bit more exciting as we move through the catalog, I'm not gonna lie, but I really do love this black knife set. I haven't seen this one before, but I love the monochromatic look of those. The only thing is we don't use a chopping block because it just takes up so much space. A couple of the things that I was noticing was their lighting. So after taking a little bit of a deeper dive, they really take advantage of these little work lamps and the fact that you can also put them on a wall. I thought that was so cool. Those show up a lot more later in through the catalog and then just a couple of knickknacks as well. These little nesting tables I think are really cute, especially for a kid's room or if you're doing some sort of like teaching just to have people grab a stool. Those are at a lower rate as well, which is cool. And then these pendant lights, they are new in. I found that uh, they added quite a few new lighting features into their catalog and those show up a lot later. So this whole section, I, it didn't grab my attention a ton until I just saw these little tiny lighting features. Look at how tiny this lamp is. It's the cutest thing ever. This looks like the Pixar eye. This is an LED clamp spotlight. It's in dark red. They were bringing in some new hues. It's not just all silver and black in here. And I like the idea of this spotlight in your books, but I just don't know when I would need that. I can understand if you have absolutely no space though, and uh, you don't have a side table, so at least you could have a lamp. I have always wanted one of these, these little bed trays. They are so cute. Oh no, that's not the bed tray. I guess that's what's on the bed tray. Oh, that's so cool. That's a really cool use of a coaster. I was talking about the whole bed tray. Oh, it's coming up as the wrong thing. Do you see this thing that goes over your bed? So fun. I think you'd have to have a very specific kind of bed though for that to roll over. Now, this is one of the things that I do have from Ikea and I am so obsessed with these because they are such a simple solution, especially if you have tile in your shower and say you don't have a shower head, you don't have a shower caddy. These are phenomenal because you can hang your loofahs or whatever you need right in the shower and it's just a suction cup so it's not gonna hurt that tile. I find that those are really cute as well just for hanging out kids toys and things like that. I was looking at this one earlier and I thought that this was kind of neat, the little shelves where they have the books on. And it's sometimes it's really hard to imagine what this could be, which is why I really like these catalogs. And that is just, that scene was all about being bright on a budget. So another thing that I will note, if you're watching this video and you think you might see something you like, maybe pause it for a second and go grab a pad of paper. It does have pagination in the bottom corner. So as we talk through these items, just jot down that number if I get going too fast, because there are 288 pages. So in this scene on page 26 to 27, I love that they now have these bigger poofs. So Ikea had these smaller poofs. If you don't know what a poof is, it is this. And they had smaller ones, but I found every single one of my friends who had purchased one of them, ended up having to buy two because they were just so thin. I'm gonna show you that later because it does show up again later in the catalog, but they're so handy for putting a tray on or even just putting your feet up. 
This little kitchen cart is so adorable, especially if you have a small space. And that's one thing I noticed that I love the most about Ikea is just, they do a really good job with really small spaces, especially in a bathroom sense, which also comes up a little later. So showing off that poof again, also these fabric walls have become something of a very prominent feature in this catalog. I find that they use that a lot to soften the scene or soften up a room, whether this be just like a staging tactic or not. Okay, page 32 to 33, I thought this was so freaking cool. I would have never thought of this because it looks unorthodox, but I think it kind of works, especially if you have a small space. So this is the Malm bed frame. And what they did is they turned it backwards. They turned it 180 and it says right here, turn your bed 180 and the headboard becomes a room divider. And they even said smart to themselves there, which I loved, <laughs> especially with the extra storage on the bottom. It's really cool. I, I just really did love that idea. Moving through the organization of the closet stuff, there's so much that you can do with these closets and some of the newer in um, closet organizers I found were so great, especially the zip up ones that you can hide things and then there won't get dust on there. So one thing I noticed that Ikea has come out with more mirrors and we had recently purchased the $90 mirror with the little shelf on the bottom and it's also a circle. I'll see if I see it in through the catalog, but they have now this circle one that doesn't have the ledge. So if you aren't crazy about that because sometimes it is a dust catcher, the Good Morgan set has been so awesome and the reason why is because the cavities inside of it are so deep that you really do need those organizations. So this little cart, I thought, how smart. You would never think that you could utilize a space like this, but yet here you are, fits the smallest bathrooms and it has plenty of shelves for toiletries. There is surely a solution in here for you if you need it. Also looking at a lot of these wardrobes, a lot of them are exposed, but one thing that I like a little bit later is that they really do add some beautiful doors and some ideas on how you can make those doors art as well. So nesting in progress. This is a completely different section and this was one of my favorites because this, I think, really brings out that ideal of Pugo, which is getting super cozy, candles and smells and, and blankets and all of these kind of things. So this floor over lamp, they've also got new cushion covers in. And if you are someone who wants to be a minimalist, but also still likes designing, one thing that I suggest is you get a couple of pillows and then you buy a couple of different pillow shams. And then throughout the seasons, you can just change the shams and they can fold up really, really small and tiny, like a Mary Kondo method. And you just put them in your utility closet. So that's a way that you can really change up the look of your sofa. These are what I was talking about, these little poofs. So these ones are around $49.99. And I think looking back on the past one, it was $69.99. So for that extra $20, you actually might save money by not having to buy more of them. But these guys were talking about, it's more of a seating arrangement. So if you were to put those underneath your nesting table and you just pull them out for seats for guests, I think that would be cool. If you're into sitting on the ground and your guests are too, that's great. Also, I had never seen this little footstool before and I think it's so cute. One, it just reminds me of a little happy bug, but I love the fact that you can put little albums in there. One of my dreams is to consistently make photo albums and then just have them out so when people come over, they can ju just grab them. I also love that the kitchen design, you can tell if you are more into that rustic kind of black kitchen design with that uh, natural wood as well showing through. They have a ton of options for that. And then this frame ledge, this little frame ledge that's $14.99, they're gonna show that again in a kitchen section and it's really cool what they do with it. So I'll show you that in a second. They also came out with some new dishes and these look so beautiful. They have a little bit of that natural feel to them. And they also came out with this, a new pair of curtains. So in through this catalog, you'll see that orange signifier for new, plus this new pendant light. I haven't seen this one before, and they have a few different pendant lights that are like that one, but that one was $49.99, and the other one that I had seen before was around $100, $99.99, I believe. I love these little cloud lights so much. I think they're so cute, but it, it's talking about children using them. I'm not a parent, so 
let me know in the comments below, how do you guys feel about this cord coming down the wall? I guess you have that cord connector there, but I don't know how I would feel about that. I would really want to hide that cord, but again, not apparent, so I don't know. How does this stuff work? How does it work? We don't know. Their bed frames as well, if you don't, if you're not into the fabric bed frame, this one's super beautiful. And then just talking about kind of carrying that same rustic -y feel in through the bedroom as well and the bathroom is cool. They also came out with just this new bath towel and I always love that they have that little hook on there. I think it's just so helpful. Also, some of these, if you look through the catalog, it will say reduced prices. So if there's something that you've been eyeing for a long time, note that you could get it now at a reduced price. The next section is called top of the class. And this is where you're going to see that Ikea is really investing time in some of their designs. And I'm gonna actually click back there because this is this little lamp actually has a Wi-Fi speaker built into it. It's really cool. So they're investing time, I think, in their technology progression and then their design. This caught my eye right away because I love the IKEA PAX wardrobe system. And one thing that I didn't do on mine was add doors. Now I love these doors. I think they look like a built-in, especially with that hardware on the outside. And I think that just looks so beautiful. It looks like board and batten. And I love that. So that's something to consider if you have seen some of those exposed closet systems before, you can always add doors to them. And I do have a video showing you how to build one of those IKEA PAX wardrobe systems with their software, and I'll link that right above. This lamp as well was new in, and as soon as I saw this pendant lamp, I showed it to Scotty and I was like, can you believe this is from IKEA? $49.99. This would be going for a couple hundred dollars, I think, if you were to look somewhere else. Also, they came out with these new boxes, and they're really beautiful. I love the fact that you can buy boxes like this and they can be exposed and still have a bit of a design to it. Plus their kitchen system, I was walking through Ikea the other day and just seeing people in there making their kitchens and it was all very COVID friendly, people with masks on and everything. And some people just coming up with these colors, it was awesome. So here's that mirror once again in a different kind of scene and I can't wait to show you guys this other mirror that shows up later. I have never seen it before and it looks so cool. All right, what do we got going on here? We also have these boxes that if you're not into really that natural feel of box and you want it more to be like a metal box look, they also have that at Ikea now. I guess they've always had that. That one didn't say new in. And moving on to the kids, this caught my eye. I opened this up because Scott's sister has this for her girls. And I love the fact that this box is one, so sturdy looking. This is not gonna fall over. That balance, that weight balance is there. But I also love, one, you could label these guys and really teach those kids how to put their toys away, but they can see what's inside. Like it's able, it's low enough to the ground that they can pull out their toys themselves. So I really like that. Okay, so this is the mirror I was talking about. How cool is this mirror? I don't know, it just caught my eye. I feel like it has a really nice retro feel to it. I feel like a lot of retro designs are coming back, especially with these, these pendant lights, these little wall lamps. We found a um, pendant for our bathroom and it was from CB2. And I'm gonna tell you, it was not that price. These are so cool. Bringing back that retro, that soft feel. And I love the fact that in this scene, the mirror was a different way than the other way. Oh, just showing off those towels again. Love it, love it. Okay, so this scene, I love this because I'm like, what is this person's story? They have this A here, but this pottery, it's so funny. They have a couple things that are new. Number eight, let's head on down to there. Okay, so what do we got here? So we got this memo board. Bringing in those memo boards. This one is a bit darker. I feel like they had one that was lighter before. So it's nice if you do have maybe a darker feel of room. This girl is getting at her food photography and they also brought in, oh yeah, that one wasn't showing up, but they also brought in this new pot with this really beautiful lid. A few new kitchen design things. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before guys. So this, this is a picture ledge and this little contraption is a curtain wire. And it's so cool just the way that if you really don't have a lot of space and you don't have 
maybe that architectural design that can lead on to just really putting a curtain rod on the wall. You can also use it in this way. How cool is that? It says food takes up most of her heart and headspace. I love that. It's really cool seeing some of these kitchens. They also have these stainless steel facing front drawers. The only thing with that is fingerprints, but you can tell this kitchen, these guys don't have kids yet because look at all of these things on those shelves and these stainless steel, these stainless steel uh, front drawers. That's so funny. There's so many cool knickknacks, so many cool organization things, these jars. I just love them. I love if, if you're someone who loves to have your things on display just because you really believe in that uh, mise en place, things in their place, then this is kind of the style for you if you're looking to really get that organization on. I love their suggestion for this. So they even said in their catalog, if you're down for some DIY, we love the idea of using the Iver doors for a decorative wall panel and boom, right there on the next page. We are on page 82 to 83, by the way. Boom, right there. They have used it as that decorative wall. And I think that's so cool. If you are someone who has always wanted to have a board and batten wall, but you just don't know how, panels. Panels are the way to go. They also came down with this new, I, I knew that I saw a different label for this lamp that I showed you guys earlier, the Wi-Fi one. I guess it's just at a new lower price now. Now I had these pendant lampshades in my old loft. And the only thing about them is this is for someone who doesn't mind a good Edison bulb. If you're someone who is just not into the Edison bulb thing, and the Edison bulb is basically that exposed bulb where you can see the filament, then that is not the one for you because sometimes when I would look at it, oh my gosh, I thought I needed sunglasses on. They're showing off this mirror one more time, just having it in the opposite direction from what they had it before. But this is also new in, and I thought this was really cool. I don't know if I would personally have it, but I thought, you know, this adds a kind of interesting style. So on both sides of this clock, you can see the clock. It's kind of got that retro school vibes to it. This is, I was really going to avoid trying to say some of these words, but the Lillingen, Lillingen for bathroom vanity. Look how small this thing is. Come on. If you have a small space, there is no reason why you don't deserve something nice, honey. Mm. You can really style it up nice. They also have a ton of plants, of course, and I had never seen this before. This little plant covering. Now living in Canada, even with this, the frost, the temperatures, that would just not do. But hey, yeah, if you had a built-in, if you kind of had an enclosed patio, this would be phenomenal for growing herbs. And they are just getting after it in the kitchen. I love that. I love that they have these little um, stands for their pot for their plants and then as well the pots. I went to Ikea with a friend of mine to purchase this dining set though, those foldable chairs as well as, I think it's on the past page actually, yeah, here it is. This folding chair and this folding table. And one thing I will say, if you guys get this, it says foldable, durable and lovable. It's not that durable. So if you do get that, maybe a good idea would be actually sealing that or bringing it inside or leaning it up against, against the wall because that is just not going to last you throughout the winter months. This next section is called what money can't buy. I guess it's gonna be a bit cost effective. I love their little bookshelves. That's something I've been interested in. This footstool has now come down in price, I guess, $29.99. And moving on, this is kind of cute, the idea of these racks. I guess if you have a lot of kids or say you have a kindergarten class or something like that, you can actually label them so they have their own names on there. That's so cute. And here's another new mirror. So if you like more of a square feel versus that oval feel or if that oval one was quite wide. So if you don't have a space that, that is that wide, that one mirror would be great as well. I have these, these little cork, guys for pots and everything <laughs> cork guys they are crumbly af okay if you take these out of the plastic because they'll be wrapped in a pack of three they're great i'm not gonna lie they're great but the corners of them are super super crumbly so if you are someone who is kind of rough with their cookware needs to throw it around doesn't have a lot of space needs to kind of shove it in the in the cabinet there maybe get another durable set 
or I bet there's a hack out there just to make it less crumbly. Look at this kid just having the time of his life. His mom's just sitting at the table, love it. <laughs> Sometimes these images make me laugh so hard. Um, Scott actually did a video laughing at one of the Ikea catalogs a couple years ago. I'll link that up above. They also have these little nightstands, which is cool. And what is this? Four sections. Oh, okay. So this is one of the ones that you secure onto the wall. I like the idea of the cabinet and the mirror as well. If you're going for an all in, all in one feel. For some of the kids stuff, I didn't realize some of the things that they sold, like those colored pencils. Back to bathroom though, this um, circle mirror scene again. And then looking at a couple of these uh, cabinetry pieces, they also come with legs. Some of them in the Good Morgan set, you can actually do them as a floating piece. You just have to make sure they're really secured to the wall and no one's ever sitting on the counter. But we did that and we really like the fact that it's nice and clean on, on the bottom. I've seen these a few times and I like the fact that you could easily clean them off and I think they're comfier than they let, lead on to be, which is nice. So getting into just a couple of the little pieces, I've seen design wise, a lot of people use these bowls and beads and things like that. And you really don't have to break the bank, even when it comes to buying baskets, like the woven baskets here are very cute. And there's one that keeps showing up. So I'll shout that out as soon as I see it. A lot of their textiles are nice as well. They recently just got this new duvet in as well. It's starting to get quite chilly here. So I feel that duvet life. And then I've also been seeing, which I hadn't noticed before, but maybe I had, but they also have this beautiful hardware. If you really want to soften it out, plus these candles also add a great hugga feel. You can actually get them in um, the flavors as well, that soft vanilla soft vanilla scented block candle in beige pack of three this is new table lamp bamboo that is really pretty i wonder how much light that would throw it looks decent but it looks like it's daylight in this photo so i guess it all depends on the light bulb you get this really gives off a nice oop, this piece this whole system really gives off a nice spa feel, doesn't it? All right, so a couple of these bed frames as well, just showing off the fabric bed frames that you can also get, plus just their pillow system. So we'll just kind of skip through those because I feel like that is very, they've got a couple new pillows as well, but I feel like that is super unique to each person. There you go, you got the classic mom. I saw this in the image earlier and I was thinking, I don't know if I'd ever do that, but oh, that's an interesting kind of way to do it. Get those hooks behind your bed. I don't know, is that for you? <laughs> Let me know. Sometimes I see these designs and I'm like, yes! And sometimes they're just kind of wild. This is cool, having the day bed with the storage beneath it, $2.99, not too bad, especially if you do have a spare room. Always a good option to have. And I really loved this little side caddy. I thought it was so cute. Oftentimes, inside a living room, I'm just looking to ours right now, even beside the uh, couch there, you could never have a side table there all the time, but to have something that you can move around, maybe you move it there when you're eating and then, and then you move it off when you're not eating, that's always a good option and a good system to have too. It's all about, it's all about the versatility. So they've added, when it comes to tech as well, they also have this sound kit and you'll have to do a little research into that if you're interested, as well as a remote control kit when it comes to your lighting features. So they're just showing off that mirror one more time and we're gonna zoom through just a touch, little kid stuff going on here. And as well, they came out with these cute little hangers. I think that could be a fun initiative too, if you're teaching, teaching the little ones to put their stuff away. They got this new rug in, super cute polka dot. Love that it's so neutral with that gray and the white polka dot. I'm thinking about that right now, telling that to Scotty's sister. I think she would love that. And then as well, this extendable, extendable bed frame. They grow up and, and they get bigger, they get longer and you gotta extend the bed frame. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Still into those beds. This is a little bit more furniture. We're talking bedtime here. This is all about getting, get a set for great sleep. So that's where we're at right now. 
moving in through this. I have built one of these before the smaller version of it and inside there's a ton of different organizers that you can get. Highly recommend looking into that. I think this will come up. This is the basket. It's not showing up as the, the thing that you press on right now, but that's the basket I was talking about a little bit earlier. And uh, it's really cute. It's really cute. Also this, interested in getting this hair towel wrap. Yes, didn't know they sold that. <laughs> There's so many little things. Like look at all these little things. Great organizers giving that bathroom a boost. This is something I have loved so much as soon as I saw it, was a bit more of that farmer sink feel. And I think this looks so incredible, having that sink on top of that vanity. I think that looks so, so great. So moving through these organizers as well, with that Good Morgan set, I would highly recommend if you get one of those, just know that you're also going to want to get those separators because it does come with some separators that you put in and you kind of move to the side and then those separate out, but it can be very annoying. Things can get lost in there pretty quick. So make sure you have those separators. Also, very small bathroom hack, just small solutions. If you don't have those shelves, you can get those little hooks to hang them on the side. Okay, moving, moving, moving. I'm just waiting to see if I see anything that stands out. A lot of the things at the beginning were a little bit more of the newer things to grab your attention. Like here's such a classic Ikea multi hanger use for your scarves and all those things and extra baskets but a lot of those new items in were a little bit further at the beginning. These are items that I think that you could definitely use, especially if you're packing away for the winter. These little packets are so great, just especially if you want to stack things, because oftentimes we think about depth when we are stacking and organizing, but you also have to think about height, but then ease of access and ways that you can label things so you can pull them out. So this is absolutely, organize absolutely everything, the IKEA PAX wardrobe section. If you are talking to someone about IKEA PAX wardrobe systems, I am there, I am in that conversation, I love them so much. Slow clothes drawers, you've also got here, let's go back, you've also got those see-through drawers. This is a feature I grew to absolutely love because very much the Mary Kondo method, if you can't see it, you're not going to wear it and it's likely just going to sit there for a long time. So I loved that feature so, so much. Another look at a different system. If you do need deeper bins for this, they didn't have that in the earlier showing. So if your kids' toys are a little bit bigger or you're organizing something in your sewing room or uh, the garage or something like that, you could definitely get some deeper bins. Plus this storage system, new in, so beautiful. I can just picture this in a craft room, can't you? Picture that in a craft room. You can also dress it up. I feel like you could add some really beautiful hardware to that just to give it a bit more of a, um, like an upscale feel. Anything that you see when it comes to these drawers, comes to this cabinetry, I love the fact now that they ha really have those neutral colors, like you can choose a blue, you can choose a green, but it still has a bit of a neutral feel. Any of those, you add different hardware and boom, it just looks so much more upscale. So we're still on those shelving units. I really think that if you're looking for an affordable solution and you don't wanna break the bank, maybe there are gonna be some areas of your home that you are really looking to have an upscale feel. But if you just got a spare bathroom, bedroom, and for me, any room, because I really think you can put something together that's beautiful um, with Ikea furniture, especially that PAX wardrobe system, where in fact, if you don't like this open feel, you can add doors, like those doors that we were talking about earlier, making that built-in feel, you can add those on top. I think that there is something for everyone, especially with so many hacks out there. Even the Billy bookcase, the most basic thing that you can find besides Malm, at Ikea, now they also have those glass drawers. You change that hardware, you move it up to something maybe a little bit more upscale, something more your style. I love that. This caught my attention the first time I saw it, this gold shelf, because you can move it either way. And look at that beautiful stack. Find a stud, get that in there, and that's going to really hold anything that you need it to hold. Also, this display box, this is one of those examples of things that I didn't know that Ikea sold. 
this is something that I would expect more to see at a home sense. So seeing that Ikea also sells little features like that, it's really starting to be that one-stop shop. They also have these uh, glossy doors, which I hadn't seen before. And those are the legs that I was talking about that you can add or take off in many senses. I've also never seen this door combination. And oh, I think that just looks so sleek for an office. Oftentimes, organization is often just putting things out of sight. So if you can just shove your stuff in one of those cabinets and close the door, that's a quick fix when you got mom coming over and you're like, oh, I really gotta clean it up in here. Here's a couple more of those pendant lights. We were talking about these earlier and those different shapes. I have had one of these. The biggest concern my mom said earlier was, oh, that's gonna be so annoying to dust. I never had to do that. And it just throws the most beautiful light. It just makes it feel so cozy as well. And they have invested more time into looking into how they can make floor lighting or pendant lighting. Because if you didn't have the electrical system to have that pendant light, you were kind of out of luck. So now you actually do have the one that can sit on the ground. Also these candles, Look at this blue, beautiful glassware, only $2.29 each. And then as soon as that burns out, you clean it out with a little tea tree oil and uh, water. And that is just a perfect dispenser for Q-tips, clippings as well for plants, all of those things. There's tons of things that you can do with a leftover glass like that. And if you already have enough of those kind of things, they do have those candles that don't have the glass. I love these little leaves. I think that creates such a fun, cozy feel. Here's another look at those cabinets with the different hardware over top. If you have even a, a if you want a DIY, this is a good one too. If you uh, have a really old belt and you only need to make one of those, you can cut it, fold it, drill a hole, boom. There you go. You've got your own pulley system. A lot of the back of the book gets into the nitty gritty of just a couple of the basic pieces that you have always seen and loved. A couple of things new in as well can be found here, including this dining table. And it's just very simple, basic designs. But I think the bulk of what you were seeing earlier, like this lamp, you'll see, you'll see what you've already seen in a lot of different variations, much like the sofa here. Now you're seeing it in a different color. So they're adding in different variations of these things along with some of their just more fabric feel items like the rugs and the pillows. It's oftentimes going through the catalog and seeing this is love your living and dining room and just kind of looking and getting inspiration and then looking around your own space and just giving yourself time because oftentimes I think we can get so overwhelmed when it comes to home design and we say, oh, I'm not good at that. And then we just count ourselves out. No, you're great at it. You've got, you know your style somewhere deep down. You can do this. And if you just look for inspiration, that's how people learn. Now, as well, looking at this, you can basically say, hey, which one of those lampshades do I like the best? There's a couple new in. That's awesome. It gives you some extra options for those colors and also, Oftentimes when you're shopping in an area like Ikea, like walking through those showrooms, you really can't go wrong. Things are gonna flow one way or another because they're built to do that. So this has been a little overview of going over this catalog, seeing what's new in in dishes, seeing what is new in in these lampshades. This is a very, very soft modern feel as well. They've got a mix of modern, a mix of cozy, and even <laughs> a little bit of uh, practical as well. Realizing that there are a couple different knob options, a couple different hardware options. If you are buying um, a set for the kitchen, a set for uh, a bathroom like the Good Morgan set or, or something else, know that there are specific pieces of hardware that you have to buy with that. For example, the faucet. Um, some of them go better with specific pieces and that's just because they're built to go together. So, so that's something that I highly recommend taking a closer look at when you're making a bit of a bigger investment into an actual furniture piece in Ikea. 
Also, one thing I would suggest while looking through this catalog is not only looking at the individual pieces, but looking at the colors of the rooms. Ikea does a fabulous job at their layout when it comes to choosing a very specific color in the way that they lay out these rooms and the way they put things together. Like this is a very soft room with the pendant lighting, very natural, bringing in those natural woods as well as the plants. But then this front drawer set, like that is also stunning and it doesn't have to all be white. You can 100% incorporate color, incorporate some different texture and not just have to go black and white if you really feel like you just don't have a design mind and you want it to look clean. It can look clean, look organized, look put together without having to just have it be absolute sterile looking. This is really cool, this little, Oh, this is like a little frame, but I think that one was labeled wrong because that frame's up there, but they have this little backpack as well. I think that's labeled wrong. Is that backpack $2.99? Jeepers creepers. Backpacks in my day were not $2.99. Oh, this is cute too, this little, this little kid light. Oh, a little crayon kid light. I bet too, if you get the bulb there, that changes the color. You can change the color of the crayon. That's always a fun game. When it comes to the very end of the book, it's having fun and getting things done. This is all about office spaces, wireless dimmer, efficiency, and lighting. One thing that Scotty and I also have in our home is the LED strip lighting, the multicolor stuff, and it is just so fun. Uh, not only for a room setting, but also a kitchen. You can add it to under cabinet lighting. If you have a dark corner in your kitchen, you can always add that to under cabinet lighting, which makes it really nice and kind of brightens up a space. I also usually look at how they make use of some of these spaces because truly like they are building the items to go in the small spaces. I didn't know there was an IKEA loyalty program. We all learned something new. They also have inspiring ideas for business, it seems. You know when you walk into a business and you're like, I know where those chairs are from. And that's the end of the book, guys. So if uh, we went too fast, I hope you're not too frustrated. That was just basically an overlook, just some thoughts. And uh, thanks for letting me word vomit at you for the past little bit. I. I'm going to flip through this again. We're gonna dive into the nitty gritty. Be sure to subscribe, some more IKEA inspired videos coming around the corner and I think we can, we can all relate to being in an IKEA phase at one point or another in our life. I also recently did a gallery wall where I used their frame so I will link that above and you can check that out and maybe even some more of my home videos. Be sure to like this video if you did like it and let me know what you have recently purchased, have been loving, or are maybe interested in trying in your home in the comments below. I will see you down there. <laughs> Bye guys. But I know I have to try Try to let her